Hi, I'm Missy Wren. I'm a holistic natural horsemanship trainer. What holistic natural horsemanship is, is a method of training the whole horse. My specialty has been problem and dangerous horses, and most of the horses that I have received in my training program who were problems and had serious behavior issues typically were in pain, whether it was physical pain or emotional pain. I found that those pain issues needed to be addressed. So I developed a program, Holistic Natural Horsemanship, to address and work with the whole horse. My motto is, problems are not always training issues, and I want to train the whole horse for a safer ride. Step in front of the drive line, watch where my body is, I pass that stick under my hand, I swap the stick and I reach for the rope and I get her to stop. Okay, girly, and she's going, I'm going to follow that. Back. Back. Good girl. Now, uh -uh. get going. Good girl. Now, I didn't have to tap her. I just swung it towards her shoulder. She knew that I was serious because I will follow through with the tap on the shoulder if she's not listening. Good girl. Good girl. I'm having to give her a little more support with the kissing sound. Keep her going. Good job. Nope. Good. I'm going to step in front of that drive line, grab and pull, and make her stand. Good. Now, I don't want that butt. You notice how that butt is kind of sticking out, that bottom there? I'm going to ask for that to move. Very good. When I look down that horse, that bottom is not to be sticking out in my eye line. That's disrespectful. She needs to swing that bottom around and pay attention with her two eyes on me. Good girl, as she's doing right now. Good job. Uh, uh, back. I know you're impatient. You want to you learn. She loves learning. Get going. Good girl. Good girl. And trot. Trot. Good job. She's just learning that today. We have not pushed for trots. Not even a canter yet. Come on. Get going. And she has to understand that when I pick up the stick, I will follow through and I will tap her with that because I do mean what I say. She is now learning that I do mean what I say. And I'm going to ask her to stop and pull. Good, and I pulled because I want that bottom out of my eye line. And it's still sticking out a little bit. Good job. Ah, back, I didn't ask for you to come in. Now there is coming a point in Tilly's training, and you're gonna experience this with your horse as well that they're going to start taking you, they're going to start questioning your leadership. And every day, horses are constantly testing one another within the herd, trying to, to better their position, their status in the herd. So she's starting to get a little bit lazy, like, well, you know, I don't really think I need to do that. I really don't want to trot. So when you pick up your stick, you need to be prepared to follow through tapping that shoulder and letting that horse know that you are serious, that you do want them to trot. Don't let them not trot when you've asked because then they're training you. You're not training your horse. Make sure you maintain your position of leadership with follow through. You must follow through. It's just like raising our kids. If we threaten all the time, we're going to punish them for getting into the cookie jar, you're going to have to sit in a timeout, and you never put that child in a timeout, they're never going to trust you. They're never going to believe what you say. And when it really matters, when that child needs to trust you, it's not going to be there because you didn't follow through. Same with this horse. Horses are too dangerous to not live up to following through when you ask something. It's just too dangerous. You must follow through. I'm going to ask her again. Same direction. Picking up that stick. Good girl. Good girl. And she knows I'm serious. I will follow through. And I will walk into her because it's her job to get out of my space. And one and two. And I like to count. Good girl because it's like a dance. Uh -uh. And back up. Back up. 
very good. And I'm going to let her know she's done a good job. And now I think she's ready to dance. We're going to just start dancing, see how she does. And that simply means she'll go from a quick stop to a change of direction. So I'm going to ask her to go. You need to pay attention. Good girl. I know you want to watch Paco. He's next, yes. Good girl. Excellent. Stop slowing down though. There you go. Just added some pressure behind that bottom. So I don't want her to st slow down. Now, one and two and three. Good girl. So she's going to have to think a little quicker. But I'm not going to get after her. I'm going to help her come up with the right response. She didn't know. She has to watch me even that much closer now. Good job! And that way. Good girl! See, she, whoopsie, she's used to stopping and looking at me. Now she's got to shift gears and change direction without stopping. Just a second of a pause. Two and three. Come on, that girl. So I came in there and I just tapped that shoulder a little bit. I am serious when I walk into your space. You need to get going. And I don't want to change direction in the same spot every time, so I have to vary it. So she's not, doesn't get programmed to just change. No. Good girl. And you see, I had to get on her other side when she got confused about changing. I needed to get on that other side of her so she'd go away from my pressure and go in the direction I asked. One, two, and three. Good girl. Good girl. I didn't have to tap her. She was starting to go the direction I wanted. So why would I get after her? She was trying. She did a good job. And one, two, and three. This way. Good girl. Out of my space. Good girl. Very nice. Oh, she's doing pretty good. Now you, can, you get the idea. You get your horse to stop and look. Bump, 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 bump. There you go. Good girl. Another direction. There. Good job. She's just got to sort it out. We're just picking up the pace now. Good girl. And one and two. Uh, uh. And because I didn't pull on that nose real good the first time, I didn't get her turned around well enough. Out of my space. Good girl. And you notice I didn't have to hit her hard. I just tapped her. You don't have to come in there and hit them hard. Just tap them. There, so they know what you're asking. Good girl. And she's trying to get out of my space, so I'm not touching her because she's moving off. What a super girl. And one and two. Get that nose to me a little bit more because she has a harder time going to the left. Good girl. Good girl. And we're going to end with a one rain stop. And a one rain stop. We're going to toss the rope since we've done our desensitizing. Excellent. What a good girl. And look, she's licking and chewing, thinking about that. What a great girl. You did good. And that's her first session with changing direction. And I'm going to leave it right there. Remember, don't wear your horse out over it. Don't look for perfection. Enjoy the journey with your horse, and your horse will learn that much quicker. The two of you will have a wonderful bond and a great relationship. You did a super job, my girl. Hi, I'm back today with Tilly. As you can see, she's got the saddle on. It's been a few weeks, and I've got a couple of rides now on her. Today, we're going to learn how the five fundamentals translate under saddle, and Tilly's going to learn that too. I prefer to cinch over two or three times uh, when I first saddle a horse. The reason is I don't want that skin to get pinched under that arm. If I saddle and just get on and there's some skin pinch, boy, that's a sure buck. So what I like to do is use the five fundamentals to get that saddle in the right position and that first fundamental is holistic lunging. The lunging helps get any skin that's pinched uh, moving around underneath uh, in between the cinch it also helps the saddle find the correct position on the horse. The shoulders are moving, the hips are moving, and that saddle can move into place. I never cinch up a horse hard and fast 
and finish. I do it over two to three steps. I've had people ask me, well, why don't you just pick up that front foot and pull and stretch that skin so it's not getting pinched? The reason why I don't do that is it's really hard. There takes a lot of strength. When you're holding that foot up, if that horse starts to lean forward or get spooked, they fall into you or you're having to hold that. It's too, um, uh, it, it's too hard for me to do that. It takes a lot more muscle than I have. So it's so much easier to just incorporate my five fundamentals and that first one is lunging. So let's get started.